Um, thank you. And thank you, Bay Area Urban Debate. I think that everybody on the board knows that my daughter participated in Bay Area Urban Debate when she was in high school. This was a student who had an IEP in speech for um, most of her elementary school years. She debated in high school. She was a student who had a lot to say and, quite frankly, still has a lot to say. <laughs> and um, debate really taught her the art of argument. She lived and breathed debate and actually even ate debate after she became a vegetarian. Um, after the issue was, I think she was investigating or debating was animal rights, and she was a vegetarian for six years after that. Um, so I am a great supporter, of course, of Bay Area Urban Debate, because this is something actually that a lot of urban kids don't get, and urban kids in public schools do not get. And this type of instruction, this type of um, developing a passion for life and passion for our society and about what is going on in the world and digging deeper and being able to investigate, but working on as a team also in it. And I think that I also really appreciate the team spirit when there are teams going out for the debate. I was the carpool mom for many of those debates that went on and on and on until late at night. And um, I have seen also the power of debate. I have seen members on her team, quiet, shy, turn into really robust speakers, speaking their mind, being very articulate. My daughter eventually graduated and went to Berkeley. She's a labor organizer now, and believe me, um, she still has really a lot to say, and she has perfected the art of argument, and it is hard to win any argument with her. So I think that we are also, I also applaud um, Commissioner Wins for bringing forth the question about how can we incorporate this. When I was a high school student in San Francisco Unified Schools, just in the San Francisco Unified School District, I taught um, took classes such as expository writing. I took creative writing. Those were things that actually met the English requirement for graduation. I hope that debate will become part of that core and not just an elective, but I think that if we can use also our Excel funds to complement the after-school activity while they have a core subject during the day and use the Excel funds to support what is happening in the classroom, this is a great place I think for our funds to be used and to support actually um, our students who are taking debate. And thank you to all the teachers who came out. And I, I just want to mention also that Robin Bonner is also on the San Francisco Youth Commission right now. So there you go. Um, thanks a lot. Commissioner Mendoza. Great. I just want to thank you also. I've had the privilege of watching you debate. Um, and I really think that the, the um, exercise you allow our students to go through in terms of really understanding what the issues are, standing your ground, and, and having not just an argument for the sake of argument, but really um, talking about what how this affects you um, professionally and personally, and, and having this open dialogue around that. You know, it's the way we want to raise our own kids. It's the way that we love to see our kids in Unify um, have conversations. And so, you know, extremely supportive of the work that you're doing. And I just want to thank you um, for continuing to do that with our, with our kids. Um, you know, I was a forensic uh, kid when I was in high school, and, and we didn't really have anybody kind of counteracting what we were saying. Uh, so it was a very different approach. And um, so my son, who too is a great debater, um, and will continue to challenge me on many levels. I am sure um, I wish he would kind of thought about it from a forensic perspective instead of a debating perspective, but it's a great exercise, and I really hope that all of our kids get the opportunity to participate in the great work you're doing in our district, so thank you. Commissioner Rossi? Uh, I just wanted to um, ask the Bay Area Urban Debate League to please invite uh, members of the board to serve as judges, to help in any capacity, and to invite members of the community who are interested in learning more to attend the tournaments and play a part as judges, because I know it's tough to recruit judges. Mr. Moffis. So let me just also congratulate you. It's tough to do it after school, but you managed to do it, and, and I, I get the challenges that you've spoken about, but those students that come, they come and I'm grateful to hear that they do. And I'm also really happy to hear about the, the programs that are in the school day. That's also very, very 
um, helpful to know that you exist in that way. Um, I, I just can't begin to express my admiration for you, Elvin, uh, for even coming forward to speak to us. Yes, I was very impressed, and I continue to be impressed by young people who have managed to come out of their shell in this setting. I was um, one of those students that is painfully shy. So I can certainly and hopefully look back um, at my life, and here I sit today, still, which people, many people don't know, painfully shy in lots of circumstances, and, and um, managed to speak when called upon. And there really is nothing like taking a topic um, and debating it, especially when you believe in the other side. But that's not the side that you pulled out of the hat. Um, and how difficult it is to be able to argue that other side when you've never believed it before. So it, it is something to behold when a student is presented with that challenge. And, and to hear that you've, you've been doing it well is also wonderful and that speaks to your coaches and instructors. So congratulations and kudos to the instructors for keeping the momentum going and then getting yourself um, here before us. That's, all, that's also an effort, <laughs> and I applaud you for that. So congratulations on the success you've had thus far, and I look forward to the discussion. It uh, looks like it will happen at the Curriculum Committee and how we can work with you all more in SFUSD. So congratulations. So I just want to also thank the teachers and uh, Robert, the student. Alvin. Oh, Alvin. Alvin. Alvin, okay for coming out. See, I needed some debate classes. <laughs> you know, and, and I actually, I'm not kidding about this. If I had taken a debate class um, somewhere along the line, I probably would do a lot better with uh, arguing with uh, my colleagues <laughs> on the school board. <laughs> we like you the way you are. Um, but I want to thank you for coming out, and um, I'd be more than happy, as uh, Commissioner Morassi was saying, if you're if you're short of judges and you need some of us to come, I'm more than happy to come. Uh, thank you very much.